Hey everyone, today um, I want to talk a little bit about the differences between NX and Katia. There's a lot of people that like to talk about, well, you know, what's better, who does a better job, so on and so forth. To me, I use both equally, and I try to be as CAD neutral as possible, because people like to argue, but I also like to give uh, the, pr the proper due respects to the uh, appropriate system, what does what, how good does it do it, and so on. So in this case, as you can see, uh, what I've done in, in Katia is I've just drawn two splines. Here's a spline, here's a spline. If I look at them, you can see it's one, two, three control points. If I uh, analyze it, we do a geometric information. Both of them are basically the same. You can see it's a three and a one. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And for this, I'm just going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to make an IGES and save. And then I'm going to come over here and say open. And I'm going to open up this IGES. Now if we take a look at this, you can see here, if I double click on that spline, this studio spline is a two degree and it's, it's a single segment. So these are basically identical curves from one system to the next. Now I'm going to basically make some surfaces off of these curves. Now you've seen me make the center console video a little bit ago and uh, so I'm just gonna use the same basic technique and show you, let me go here, we'll go down to generative shape. So for this one I'm just gonna do a parallel and uh, we'll just go 25, parallel again, say 25 and 25 and then I'm gonna combine And then I'm going to symmetry. And then here I'm going to make my circular surface. So with that circular surface, I'm going to go into sweep. And under here, you'll see I have three guides. And one, two, three. Pick my spine string. So again, everything is constant. Everything is consistent. Here's my spine. Here's my X direction. And select OK. And there is my surface. So now I'm going to do the same in NX. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go into curve. And for this, I'm just going to say offset curve. I want to offset this guy. 25. Remember what I did 25 in the other window. And apply. And I'm going to deselect this and pick this. And 25. Select OK. Now, again, I'm going to combine my projection. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to mirror this geometry. And whoop, actually, let me make my datum thesis. There we go. So now I can do my mirror geometry. And OK. Now for this, go into surface and whoops section surface. Now this section surface is going to be circular. It's going to be through three points. I'm going to pick this, this, and this. My spine curve I'll just use by a vector and there's my surface. Select OK. I'm going to leave everything at default. Now when I inspect this surface, and the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it for the other system as well, for Katia, is I'm just going to go into X form and I'm going to pick this. And you can see it's created a 3, 3, and a 6. All right. So in other words, this is a fourth order, fourth order with six additional patches. If I come into Katia and do the same thing, you can see here, I've got a 21 and a 6, okay? So this is telling me I have a, a fairly complex surface. This is a little bit more complex. Actually, let me, let me uh, display, let me go back into generative shape. Let me go ahead and display my control points on this guy. And where is you? Insert analysis, apply dress up. All right, so you can see what I have there. 
I'm going to come back into NX. I'm going to go into Analysis, pick my surface, show poles, show knots. Now, if we take a look at this, you can see here I have a, a I have a knot point here, I have a knot point here, I have another knot point, another knot point, so on and so forth, all the way back. Now, if you take a look at, actually, let's do it this way, insert, analysis, apply, dress up this guy. Um, so we can see that a little bit better. You can see this is, these are just isoparms internally. Um, there's one, two, three, four, and then I also have uh, all of my control points. There we go. So again, here, one, two, three, four. You can see that this surface here has a little bit more uh, complexity. Okay. Let me take segmentation off so you can see it. So you can see this has a little bit more complexity than the one derived in NX. Okay, so CATIA does create a little bit more complex surface in this instance, even if it's the exact same uh, type of curve. Now, if I analyze the, let me go ahead and hide this. If I analyze this curve, for instance, let's go, actually, let me do this. There we go. You can see here, this has got one, two, three, or a total of three segments, okay? Fairly complex. If I analyze this, you can see it's got, uh, again, three. It's a parameterized spline. It doesn't really give me the control points. If I want to see the control points, I have to go back into freestyle and convert this. I'll just use the converter wizard. Hit apply. So it does it exact, right? So there's no tolerance or deviation. Select OK. Now when I go into this, you can see the actual curve that it generated. Okay, it's a fairly complex curve. Now, with that being said, right, I can I can simplify this sum if I want to. I can reduce that and but I still have a very complex curve from that combine. Now, if I go into the NX side of the world and I go into my combine, pick, uh, let me go ahead and hide this, pick my curve, show my poles, show my knots, you can see that I have a far less complex curve. So if I go into my X form, for instance, and I pick this, you can see it's a five by five, one second here, whoops. Yes, there we go. I have to remove the parameters, my bad. That it's a five by five, and this curve that it initially created in Katia was a far more complex curve. So part of the reason why we have a simpler surface is because in NX, it created a simpler curve. Now, why did it do that? Part of the reason is, is when we go into the modeling tolerance here, so there's my combined, we go into our modeling tolerance under my settings, you'll notice I have a distance tolerance of 0 0.01. If I go into here, oops, just undo that, there's my combine. You'll notice that I don't have the ability to change my tolerance. So by default, the tolerance for this is going to be 0 0.001. So Katia does offer a slightly, I shouldn't say slightly, but an incredibly tighter tolerance. So it does create a, a more complex curve. If I look at the porcupines on this thing, okay, for short them, they look pretty good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hide this. I'm going to do the same thing. We'll go into analysis. And I want to go, uh, let me pick my curve, show combs. Let me do that. Suggest a scale factor. You can see that I have... Uh, pretty much an identical curve, all right, because the tolerance in this is 0 0.01 in, in NX, and in Katia it's 0 0.001. Because it's such a tight tolerance, it's going to create a more complex curve. In NX, that tolerance is a little looser. It doesn't create as a complex curve. Now, you can do the same in Katia. It's a little bit more work. Um, and is it truly necessary? Well, if you're looking for the simplest shape possible, then you may have to do that. One of the things that I really like about NX as well, 
this is one of those few things that I think that it does a better job at, is if I also go into uh, the surface itself, double clicking on it, you'll notice that I have a tolerance rebuild here. Now, I can adjust these values based off of whatever studio I'm working in and so on, but you can see it's 0.01 to those curves as well. So by nature, it's going to be a little simpler. I also have the ability to do what's called a rebuild. I can auto fit. Now, with this, you'll see I, I need to make a slightly more complex surface. Okay, I can start adjusting this to get it to go where I want to go. Meaning, how complex do I need to make this to truly match the tolerances? Now, in this case, I've simplified it. It's a 7 by 2, and it's now it's not matching any longer, and it gives you a little warning. But here you can see I've simplified that shape quite considerably by adjusting my rebuild. And again, that rebuild is within whatever tolerance you specify. If I specify a, a looser tolerance, per se, you'll notice that... I can get this thing, there's a 6 by 1, but I'm again deviating by 0.1. Now, is that deviation of a tenth of a millimeter allowable? In a lot of cases, it is. It's going to be for the sake of having a simpler surface. Now, when I go back into the Katia side of the world, and I bring up my sweep, and I double click on this beauty, you'll notice that I do have angular correction and distance deviation from the guide. So if I do the same thing here, you'll notice that I have simplified that surface somewhat. All right, Because I'm saying, hey, you're allowed to deviate a little bit. How much does it actually deviate from the guide curves? We can go in and analyze that. But for the most part, that deviation is absolutely minimal. And it simplifies that surface quite considerably. So if I do an analysis on this, let me go back into generative shape. And there we go. Three, three, six, or I'm sorry, three, one, six, and six. So if I go back to, by default, as tight a tolerance as I can possibly make it, whoops, helps to hit the right button, you'll see that this is a bit more complex. It's got a couple of more components or patches in the U direction. So by loosening up that tolerance sum, I've managed to simplify it. Now, is it as much as I'm able to simplify in NX? Um, again, if I were to do something with the curves, the tolerance on the curve builds, then yeah, I could probably get there. But you'll notice that it's easier to do that type of function in NX. And this is one of those areas where NX is the superior product. Um, will it build basically the exact same surface? Almost imperceptibly different. If uh, once I get into building the blends, then yeah, I can get the blends to just about match perfectly from one CAD system to the next. But there are going to be slight differences based off of how they calculate their um, curvature and how they get their G3 and how you adjust that surface and so on. But uh, in this case, this is one of those where I prefer NX, uh, especially with a section surface, because even though I built the exact same surface, both circular, I'm able to control this surface a little bit more in NX to get a simpler result, or what I would coin as a cleaner result. At the end of the day, how is it going to affect everything? Well, um, having a simpler surface is generally better, especially if I have to migrate the data from one CAD system to the next. So that's part of the reason why we want the simplest primaries, because our, now our blends are going to be far more complex um, once we do all of that type of work, because the uh, the more complex the surface, the blends have to adjust accordingly. The, the less complex the surface, again, the blends have to adjust, can adjust accordingly, and you have more control over the complexity of that blend. I hope that helps. Again, my name is Stephen. I'm with Class A Surfacing. If you like the video, please like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please, I always enjoy them. Have a good day.